people, 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 people. Que pasa, sapa, say what they do. Now, people, it seems as if every day we get up, Jamaica is getting worse and worse. It seems as if these criminals are getting more innovative. They are finding all sorts of ways to support their dirty criminal activity and people, the latest trend being. These criminals, they are now preying on farmers, goat farmers specifically, also cow farmer, any sorts of farmer with any sorts of animal. However, they are more concentrating on the goat farmers. And I am speaking about an incident that occurred in a place called March Spain, Spanish Town, in which a single farmer, he lost 30 goats. However, the Popo from Spanish Town, Portmore, St. Catherine, they found these goats and they returned the goats to the farmer. However, less than 24 hours after, about 4 a.m. in the morning, a group of men, gangsters called Lion Park Gang from St. Catherine, they roll upon the premises of this farmer. Them start to blaze up the place and people. There was a video that was circulating all over social media. When I first heard the video, I thought that this was some sort of G-A-N-G-W-A-R. However, people, lo and behold, of course, there is all sorts of WAR in the Spanish town era. However, this specific incident was about these gangsters, Lion Park gang, making a message, making a statement to these goat farmers that listen. Whenever we thief your stuff, don't go and complain to the popo. Don't make any sorts of report. So therefore, we are seeing that they are trying to instill fear and intimidation upon these goat farmers so people i am going to let you take a listen take a look to the edited version of this video because you understand that this is youtube and then you'll get a basic idea what i am speaking about take a listen take a look Now people, just imagine, you as a hard working farmer, you get up every day, you walk your goat, you get feeding, all sorts of grass, rete, you get them water, you have to watch over them, it is as if you can't even sleep at night, because you feel as if, if you fall asleep, these people are going to catch you slipping so therefore you have to be on your p's and q's 24 hours a day never mind the fact that you are working hard you are doing a legitimate business never mind the fact that you are living in a hostile community never mind the fact that you are one of the persons that help to feed jamaica especially with one of the meats that jamaicans like goat meat curry goat rete lele blue blah bling now you're under siege, now you're under attack. And remember, this is a farmer or these are farmers. They are not involved in any sorts of gang activity. They are hard working men and women. However, because these people realize that, listen, everything are closed down, all of their hustle, as it pertains to extortion, as it pertains to robbery, they are clamping down on it, meaning the relevant authority, the popo. They are now finding the newest way, and that is what we call the guns for D R U G S, and now the guns for meat trade, which is basically mostly Haiti. So, what the SSP for the era, his name is Mr. Pascal, he said is that these criminals are realizing that, listen, I go on some sort of robbery spree 
when I come back, I might lose one or two of my combolas, including myself. However, when I go to the farmer's place and I rob them and I hold them up at gunpoint, the risk assessment is very low. So therefore, I am going to come out like a bandit. I am going to come out like a thief in the night, literally. So people, what they've realized is that, listen, this is a new way to go. This is the most lucrative, easiest, less risk, more reward way to go. It is more profitable. It is all about profit, profit, profit. However, we see that these criminals, they are very bare-faced. Because people, first thing first, you as a criminal, you thief somebody thing, as in this farmer, this latest farmer being the latest victim. You thief the person goat, and then the person make a report to the poor poor. They launch some sort of probe investigation and then find back the goat. And then you and your friend, like I said, a group of men roll up at about 4 a.m. You and your friends decide that, listen, we're going to make some sort of reprisal for something that we've done wrong in the first place. We're going to retaliate for something that was not ours, that went back to the actual owner, the person that basically raised these goats, the farmer. You felt as if you somehow justified your action and felt like you were disrespected because them come back for your thief. Now people, you see why these criminals always lose them life. You see why these criminals always end up in the big yard and people not soon enough, never soon enough, do they ever get what they truly deserve, meaning mostly dirt nap. But me just as say, the audacity, the brazenness, the beer fiercedness of these criminals, for feel like so well, I go up on a, a, um, a rampage, I tee some goats, I waste gas, I take risk, and then the people them come back for the goat with the power po. And now my crew, meaning the Lion Park crew from Spanish Town, St. Catherine, Portmore, we are now hot because the power po is on our heels. The power po are now looking for us. So therefore, our lives, our freedom is in jeopardy. So therefore, we should do the right thing and retaliate. Now, people, like I said, as it pertains to the guns for a drugs trade between Haiti and Jamaica, we say, say it has been going on for decades and because of our porous borders, meaning that we don't have enough marine popo, we don't have enough boats or ships or whatever the case is to monitor the coastline, we say, say it is like a sieve. And everybody is coming in, everybody is going out. So therefore, the green stuff is going out. And then the GUNS is also coming in. Based on information from the Popo, it is said that these criminals, they are using the goats that them thief, the cow that them thief, to support their criminal activity, criminal lifestyle. So therefore, them figure them stick up the poor farmer them, take away all of them goat or as much goat as they can take away. Then they sell this goat meat on the black markets locally. A lot of it is going overseas, meaning Haiti, jump on a boat, go over there, trade it. And people, you know that if you've checked the prices of meat, especially like oxtail, well, we don't really grow too much ox in Jamaica, but oxtail is like, 17 or 18 hundred dollar a pound goat meat i am sure it might not be as expensive nevertheless it is very expensive so therefore them go upon a liquor movement and them get a couple of millions of dollars three million dollar five million dollar whatever the case is when they go on their robberies they might get a couple hundred thousand at the most so therefore why take the risk why go against the bank or financial institution when you have some poor farmer that is out there, that is ill-equipped, don't have any sorts of security, meaning any sorts of tool, any sorts of security guard monitoring them place. So therefore, them jump over the fence, them take away a few goats, a few tens of goats, 
and then them sell it on the black market easy as one, two, three. So people, we understand the criminality of it all. We understand that thieves are going to thief. However, what I don't understand is the audacity. How they kind of rationalize or how they think that you can rob somebody and because the person recover their stuff, you are going to now retaliate as if this is some sort of reprisal of you losing one of your gang members. As if these farmers are the opposition. When the truth and the fact is that the farmer is just doing what he does. He is a legitimate businessman and he tries to make sure that he keeps what is his. And he sells and he gets the profit, profit and he supports his family. However, these knuckleheads, they feel as if, listen, it is all about badness. It is all about intimidation. It is all about fear. So therefore, if we can spook these poor farmers, if we can roll upon them spots after they've recovered their stuff and blaze up the place, maybe the next time they won't think about going to the poor poor and report it. So therefore, it is going to make our jobs easier and easier. Now, people, remember, these criminals out there, them have mother, them have girlfriend, them have picnic that they are supporting. So therefore, whenever the poor poor or the farmer catch them, they need to do a total wipeout, meaning that all of the people that are getting the proceeds, they should also make them victim. So therefore, whenever we see these farmers or see these videos circulating on social media, and all of these people that are throwing all sorts of sympathy party and saying that. No man, they never have to do that because one wrong or two wrongs does not make a right, whatever the case is. Only need to go sit down, hold a chair and hold on the ears and on the foot because you are talking foolishness. Desperate times calls for desperate measure. So therefore, read between the lines. So people, me just as say, we realize that we hear the security minister saying that they are going to take a stand, take a stance against pray their last or whatever the word is. And they are going to make sure that them register this goat and that sheep and that cow, rete, lele, blue, blah, bling. And they are going to have a a, a, a unit at every power post station, major power post station. When people, the truth and the fact is that it is just a 90 attack. They are not doing anything. It is just a PR scheme in which they are talking about because the truth and the fact is that based on what the president of the farmers association of jamaica if that is the right word or the right organization is saying most of these units at these power power station they are not really investigating any sorts of thievery they are not going out on the field or in the field or on the farm and checking out anything so therefore it is as if the hyena the wolf they are raiding the barn, they are raiding the farm on a daily basis. And these farmers, they are becoming victims more and more. And what is even worse, people, this is not the first incident in which we see a gunman go with all sorts of high-powered rifle and a blaze up the farm at them place. They've done it before on several occasions. So therefore, it is becoming a trend. So therefore, if the relevant authority meaning the JSC of Jamaica Constabulary Force that is supposed to serve and protect. If they are not doing their job and protecting these farmer, their livelihood, and, the, and even more importantly, their life, what is going to happen? So people, may just assure you, that is exactly what is going on. As it pertains to these guns for D-R-U-G-S, G-U-N-S for meat, rete, lele, blue, blah, bling, and the latest very disturbing trend as it pertains to these gangsters, these gunmen, these dons now turning goat thief because that is exactly what they are. And people like them say, a thief is just a thief is just a thief. And any way they can get their money, the illicit way, the illegal way, they are going to do it. And it does not matter who is the prey, if a farmer, if a bank, if a, the regular person, the regular Joe or Jane on the street. It does not matter. It is all about them. It is all about their own selfish needs. So therefore, whoever is going to be a victim, lose them property or lose them life, it does not matter. So people, me just as say, the poor, poor, the relevant authority and the farmers, they need to take that same stance. Any and everybody should go down. 
point blank and period. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like I say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up.